We're here in New Orleans and we're going to go take a look at uh, an old historic convent that some people say still has vampires locked up on the third floor. Now the story of this convent uh, was founded back in the 1700s when this was a French colony and they say that back at the time there was a shortage of women in the colony for the men to marry. So they would send away for women uh, back in Europe and they would have the boats come bring these new brides from Europe, the men would marry them. According to the legend, one of the ships that came here to New Orleans, when it arrived, it uh, came to the dock and the women got off the ship and everybody stared at them. Because uh, the women were getting off the ship, they were pale, pasty white. Their skin is almost see-through. They had blood dripping from their mouths and each of the women was carrying a tiny casket. Now, some of the rational-minded people, here's the chapel, St. Mary's Catholic Church. And the convent further on. Now, some rational folks say there's an explanation for all of that the blood that was dripping from their mouths well that's because uh, they had tuberculosis and once you have high stage tuberculosis that can happen and they say that uh, they were pasty white because they were kept in the hull of the ship for that long journey several months long they were kept down in the hull of the ship to keep the sailors away from the women and so the women were pasty they hadn't seen the sunlight they got off the ship, they're blinking, covering their face from the sun because of how long they've been down there. But what they couldn't explain is those tiny coffins they were carrying. And the women said that it was their luggage. But, uh, I mean, what sort of luggage is shaped like a coffin, right? So according to legend, right here, in this convent, the old Ursuline convent, in those windows, up there on the top story, they said those little tiny coffins were locked up in there, put into quarantine, just in case, they said. There might be diseases, they might have brought something here from the old world. They locked them up in that third story. But they said every night they'd hear strange noises coming from those windows. They'd hear screams, otherworldly voices banging against the windows. And they'd not nail those windows up with 300 nails and they would still burst open some nights. And they'd stay open until dawn, and then they'd shut again. And so, of course, people who talk about vampire lore say that's what was going on. And to this day, legend has it that these women, they were known as Les Vampires, the vampire women of New Orleans. And they say that to this day, Nobody can go up there into that third story of that convent. It's a museum now, but the third story is off limits. Nobody can go in there to see what or who is locked up up there on the third story with those windows all boarded up, which they say sometimes you can hear the noises coming from them at midnight at the witching hour, right here in the French Quarter of New Orleans.